post-race press conference after the 2022 Mexico City e Prix. We're joined by our top three, Pascal Verlein and uh, Andre Lotterer for Tagoya Porsche and Jean-Rick Verne for the DX to Cheetah team. Uh, Pascal, we will start with you. Your first win in Formula E, your first win for Porsche, Porsche's first win, your first win since the DTM in 2015, I think. How do you feel? You looked at the stats. Yeah, all <laughs> um, Yeah, it feels amazing. Um, probably, you know, Mexico is the best place to get the first victory because in the past I've been so close um, two times uh, to win here, or actually last year I won, but got qualified. Um, so it really feels like payback, and um, yeah, the car was amazing today. I think um, you could see that uh, both, both our cars were super competitive, and um, from practice onwards, uh, we were always at the front. Um, and yeah, super happy. Strategy worked uh, out well. Um, I wasn't too sure in the beginning because I uh, got overtaken by um, two cars. But uh, yeah, in the end, it, it paid off, and uh, super happy. What is the sort of feeling like within the team in terms of the maybe relief? Because I presume there's a lot of pressure after sort of three seasons down in Formula E and never quite getting to the front necessarily. Well, you know, the pressure is coming more from the outside. And, um, you know, especially you journalists um, you know, putting a lot of pressure. Um, but, uh, you know, we just uh, stay focused and um, we know that we have a good package. Um, Sometimes it was coming together in the past, and and uh, sometimes not. We are still, um, yeah, not new, but uh, still quite new in the championship. And um, yeah, I think uh, slowly we um, we understand everything, and um, yeah, it feels amazing. So hopefully this uh, gives the team a bit of momentum, um, a bit of uh, yeah, self confidence. And uh, hopefully from now onwards everything is getting easier. Congratulations on the victory. Too much talking there. Uh, Andre, turning to you, um, a, a great day for Porsche to, to bring them a, a one-two. That must be very proud. Of you. Yeah, of course. I think uh, it's, a, it's a tremendous result for the team. Uh, we put so much effort in, and uh, after uh, this difficult season last year. Too many ups and downs. I think, uh, yeah, finally we, like Pascal said, we starting we start to put things together, and uh, yeah, today we, we really show that uh, we need serious business for, for the championship as well. So um, yeah, it's a uh, really uh, I think the, the team can be really happy today. Obviously, we, we maxed it out, and um, also like the performance. Uh, what was your? Were you on the same? energy strategy for the for the whole race or was it changing for you guys throughout the race because i think a lot of teams were, were changing as they went um no i think we we selected the right strategy from the beginning on and um, that's why at the beginning we were a bit um vulnerable but uh, we we kept uh, our our head down and um followed our targets and then uh, yeah so what happened in the end yeah. okay congratulations uh John -Eric? At one point, it looked like you were the the guy who was going to win the race when you were closing in on Edo in second place. What sort of changed, and are you pleased with third? Uh, strategy changed, <laughs> uh, obviously. How can you consider that? That's like three of opposition in a lap. Um, no, I think the, um, our engineers did the, the, the right call. Uh, obviously, uh, the, the Bosch team did an even uh, better call. But it was really not obvious at the beginning of the race that it was going to be uh, a 40 laps. And I was with 39 laps strategy. Uh, so, no, I think, uh, you know, huge congratulations to Bosch. They've been clearly the, the strongest today. It was in qualifying uh, in the race. They, uh, it was always amazing, you know, to, to uh, maximize the points when you know you're, you're really careful. Uh, so, congrats to them. And uh, as for us, I'm very happy with um, this position. Antonio, Finishing fourth as well, so we're the second best team this weekend in Mexico. And uh, yeah, one day it's going to be us, and it's from the team, and us winning. Congratulations. Uh, a question here from Sam Smith from the Virtual Media Center for 